Hello there, kia ora. Have you heard the phrase recently, at last the adults are in charge? Well, over the weekend we got to see exactly how adult the adults in charge of the coalition are, and then on Tuesday they were all schooled by an actual adult on how to do things like an adult. You see, we saw over the weekend some really fascinating stuff come from all three of our coalition partners on. Saturday, I think it was, there was David Seymour's speech about the state of the nation, a really evocative term that's usually used by the President of the United States for the speech he gives the House and Congress, not for a very, very junior coalition partner with 8% of the vote, but essentially it was a sales pitch for the new portfolio that he was given last week on the Treaties Principles Bill. So anything that happens with that bill, whatever gets proposed or put forward for readings and select committee, that's all on David Seymour from here on in, and he was trying to soften people up for it. It's part of the reason why he's been doing the media rounds, including everything from mainstream media through to the platform. He's there to sell his sales pitch. And, uh, well, it's certainly not going very well at the moment. At the other end of the spectrum, though, in the coalition, you had Winston Peters, who put this out. Very much aimed at his conspiracy-minded followers, it does a whole bunch of hot-button things about the freedom freedoms that he's won for them. But there's some really strange stuff in there, like the COVID inquiry that he wants to launch. There's already an inquiry happening, so I'm not sure what he's planning on launching. The no mandates thing is absolutely ridiculous. Other than the fact that there have been no mandates in place around COVID for a very long time, the government mandates a whole bunch of other stuff, like whether or not you can have cell phones in schools, or whether or not your students should be reading, writing, and doing arithmetic for an hour each day, whether you should wear a seatbelt, how old you need to be to drink or have sex, or do all sorts of other things, whether or not your car has a warrant of fitness as a mandate, or whether or not your roads are fixed, that's mandated by the government. He's saying he wants to get rid of all mandates, so I'd be very interested to see how that goes. And the last thing on here about the United Nations is also kind of fascinating because, well, we've just stopped giving funding to a United Nations refugee organization, and we're not going to start refunding them until Winston gives the okay, and he quite clearly has a bug in his bonnet about the United Nations. So that could be quite problematic going forward. And then of course there's Christopher Luxon, who's apparently the Prime Minister, but it's been really hard to tell that, because He's not really showing much in the way of leadership with his coalition partners. and tend, He tends to have a soft hand approach at the moment and just let them run off and say things like, I'm delivering the State of the Nation speech and demanding all government departments give up mandates. You know, the kind of thing that a gentle leader does. But he did put this out when the start of the school term happened, technically on Monday, not in Auckland though, where he spelt every day wrong, focused is the wrong kind of focus, and there's at least two commas missing from within his own little bubble talking about the need for reading, writing, and arithmetic education. So those are our leaders, the adults in the room. Whereas we saw on Tuesday, James Shaw deciding to stand down as the leader of the Green Party, or co-leader of the Green Party. And he did that in a really respectful way. There was this tweet, which is clever and harks back to a whole bunch of political history and communication. And then during the press conference where he explained what he was doing, made a lot of sense, he didn't put his foot in it, he didn't blame anybody else, and he wouldn't sit there and endorse anybody else letting the process take place for finding who his replacement's going to be. That is actual adult behaviour. Maybe it's something that our coalition partners who run the country could learn from.